Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about brain fog. I used to have brain fog really, really bad. And yes, it can come from a lack of sleep, but most of the time it's a problem with something called insulin resistance. It's a pre-diabetic state where your blood sugars are a problem. You can have either insulin resistance, which means that your insulin is too high but it's not connecting with the brain, it won't go in there because you're eating the wrong foods. Or it could be another situation called hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugars, which again, you're not getting enough insulin to the brain. So people think that you have to eat sugar to get energy in your brain. That's not true. What we have to do is get the sugar out of the diet and force your body to live off uh, the other uh, non-carbohydrate sources of fuel, like fat fuel or even some protein fuel, okay? So to get rid of brain fog, it's actually really, really easy. And I'll just kind of evaluate what someone eats. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is, you know, handle the obvious thing, cut out all the sugars. That includes honey, agave nectar. And in, I'm going to tell you to start reading the um, labels, especially the sugar grams. Not even the carbohydrate grams, but the sugar grams. You're going to be shocked to find out how much sugar is in food. It's like off the charts. Even plain yogurt has 10 grams of sugar. That's too much. The question is how much sugar can we have? We want to go as close to zero as possible, okay? So we don't want to add the sugars. All those protein bars, it's sugar. If you take protein and you combine it with sugar, you really spike insulin. You really create a situation in brain fog. So those, those, those protein bars that you have are creating the brain fog, okay? And then hidden sugars, that could be like juice, fruits, alcohol, things like that. So a lot of sugar in that. And also, of course, the obvious, the breads, the pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, things like that. We want to get that out because that's not going to help. In fact, oatmeal is also in that category as well. Now, we also want to have huge salads because we want the vitamins and minerals. If I don't have a huge salad for two days in a row, I don't feel right in the head. Like I need that potassium and that nutrition to feel clean. So the combination is very important. And yes, we need healthy protein, but you don't want to do too much protein, just a little bit, just enough to feel satisfied. Maybe three to six ounces, a big salad and some healthy fats. Like maybe a little bit of olive, a little uh, brie cheese, peanut butter, some fat to allow you to go longer without eating. So very, very simple. If we can just have you do these simple things right here, your brain fog should improve unless you have another health problem like a sleeping problem, a digestive problem, an inflammatory condition, some other issue. But typically, this is the first step with most people and it should work. All right, see you in the next video.